Need LASIK? Trust the experienced team at the LASIK Center at Evergreen Eye Center. No glasses, no contacts, no limits. What will you do? LASIK at evergreen.com. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal's second date update. Dawson is on the phone with us for a second date update today, and his email said that he met the girl he wants to call while playing a game at a house party. Hey, Dawson, cool. what game were you guys playing? We were playing the famous people card game. What's that? Is that is that where you guys hold up a picture of me and then you try to guess <laughs> yeah, right. what I'm doing that evening? That's a fun game. Oh, man. It was famous people card game. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank Again, you. Yeah. that's the yeah. one where you hold up a picture of me, yeah. I know. <laughs> Cool, man. What's the famous people card game? I don't know what that is. So, like, okay, so I'm sitting across from you, for instance, and I hold up a picture on my forehead, oh. uh, and I can't see it, obviously, of a famous person, you know, actor, somebody famous, and then, you know, you would have to kind of act out and okay. get me to guess who it is without, you know, saying who it is. So obviously. if you're sitting across from me, I'd be like, it's it's me. Again, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on yeah. past that piece. Um, okay. I think we understand the game now. So how did you guys end up playing the game together at the party? Yeah. We, okay. So, you know, I went to this house party with a bunch of my friends and stuff. We get there and we're hanging out and then, not to sound cheesy, but across the room, I notice this girl and she's got really, you know, really nice brown hair and she has this really nice approachable mouth. So Did you say approachable mouth? mouth? Yeah, yeah, like, nice approachable mouth. Does that mean a smile? What does that mean? <laughs> yeah, she has a really nice smile. Nice approachable okay. mouth. You know. Oh. <laughs> All right. I mean, I describe it differently. Yeah. Uh, I've never heard it described yep. that way. Did you tell her that she has an approachable mouth? Uh-oh. That could be why you're not getting a call back. <laughs> yeah. No, I, just, I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't seem weird to me. I mean, I've heard other... Whatever. Okay. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. okay so, so wait, did you like position yourself all night so that when you guys started playing this card game, you could be next to each other or on teams or something? Exactly. You know, we're we're basically playing teams because there's a lot of people. So okay. You pair up, and I put the card on my head, and I mean, first thing she says is, oh, "I've got a card for everyone," and I mean, right there, I know who it is. Oh, yeah. You know. Yeah. It's Oprah. Yeah. But I don't want to give it up that quick. I want to keep engaging and stuff. So I just keep asking questions and stuff like, <laughs> I, I don't know, is this person on TV a lot? You know, just whatever, just so we can kind of keep, even though it's just talking about the game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just kind of back and forth. <laughs> yeah. And she's like, know. hey, idiot, it's Oprah. How did you not get that? You're stupid. I don't want to go out with you. <laughs> right. I would think you were <laughs> dumb if you were doing that. No, because you got to think about the situation. You're at a party and stuff, so obviously you you can't take it too seriously. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it obviously worked for you. You got her number at least to the point where you're on the phone with us now wondering why she's not calling you back. So what happened after you guys played the game? So we go outside, and we're kind of lounging on some pool chairs and stuff. And, you know, it, it felt right, so I went in for a kiss. Oh, my gosh. And, Whoa. Yeah, well, and she kissed back. Woo! There you go. And it would have been great, except for some drunk dude that comes walking out announcing, you know, beer pong in a couple minutes, everybody inside. Oh, <laughs> uh, man. Yeah, buzzkill. So he yeah. ruined your makeout session. Yeah, it kills the mood, totally. So wait, what did she say? So, oh, sweet, I got to get out of here. I got to go play beer pong. It wasn't, it wasn't like that. It was just, it really was just kind of like, you know, that big roadblock just thrown down. Yeah. Okay. You know. So did you guys go in and play beer pong together? Yeah, we went in and we did that some. But then, you know, throughout the night, I, you know, my friends started tugging on me again to hang out and whatever. So we did end up, at the end of the night, exchanging phone numbers. Oh, that's good. So that's, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. But now it's been like a week and a half. And I mean, this is why I'm calling you guys. I can't get any real response about legitimately setting up a date. Like, uh, I'm the one that's always sending out the text and just getting, uh, yeah, you know, let me, let me look at my calendar or we can try and get around to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> get around to it. So I'm kind of at a loss. So I figured, well, 
you know, I'll give you guys a call. And do you think it's because she's busy or do you think it's because she's not interested? I don't know if there's another guy in the picture. Like maybe she just went to this house party and if there is another guy, he couldn't go or something. And then there's a little connection there and enough for her to swap phone numbers. And maybe now she's thinking like, ah. It's like, oh yeah, my husband could get angry if he found out I made out with this guy at a house party. There's nothing other than that that you can think of that would give you a reason why she wouldn't want to go out with you? No. Well, my end, you know, everything seemed to go great at the house party. And then the first day or so after, there was a lot of flirting going back and forth Mm -hmm. with the text messaging and stuff. And then it just kind of petered off. Oh, weird. That's not good. Petering is bad. Yeah. Well, it can be good. I've petered a few times (laughs) and it was amazing. But sometimes I've petered and it's been terrible. So It's definitely bad petering. Yeah. We'll play a song, and then we'll come back, and we'll get your second date update, all right? Thank you very much. Okay, hang on. Moving 92.5. Brooke and Jubal in the Mornings. Second date update. Right in the middle of a second date update, and if you're just joining us, Dawson is on the phone, and Dawson thinks a record scratch moment might have ruined his chances at love. Uh-oh. Yeah, you've had those record scratch moments, like... Was the last time I had a record scratch moment? It was just the other day, actually. Well, what happened? I was in a conversation with someone, and they're like, you know what? You're really soft-spoken and rather polite in person. And I was like, no, it's not that. It's just that I don't like you very much. Oh. Record scratch moment. Okay. Way to put the brakes on a conversation. Yeah, wow. You know? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and, it makes sense now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and Dawson had a record scratch moment when he met the girl he wants to call today. Hey, Dawson, what's her name? I didn't get that from you, by the way. Oh, it's Janine. Janine. Okay. They were at a party and they were making out and then somebody ran outside and was like, it's time for beer pong, everybody inside. Mm-hmm. Record scratch moment. <laughs> and they exchanged emails at the end of the night. They texted back and forth a little bit. She seemed very flirty at first, but now she's kind of dropped off and he's wondering why. So we're about to get her on the phone and see if we can figure out what happened. Any last words, Dawson? <laughs> nah, man. I just want to get this resolved and hopefully end up on a second date. Oh, and I forgot to ask, Dawson, when you said you were texting flirty back and forth, you didn't take it, like, too far, if you know what I mean. No, 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 no. no. You didn't send any pics of things or... No, no, no pics. Okay. No, no, okay. no, no, no. no eggplant Cause, emojis. Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> flirting for women and flirting for men are very different definitions. She sent me a winky face, so I sent her my entire naked body. Yeah. <laughs> that is kind of how it goes down. Yeah, it, it really yeah. is. Oh. Like, that, I thought that was the emoji for she wants it. Yep. <laughs> That's true, Jose. That is a record scratch moment, you know? (laughs) Like, I think I'm being cute. Oh, my God, there it is. (laughs) Record scratch moment. All right, well, I'm going to dial her phone number right now and see if we can figure it out. Here we go. You ready? Let's do it. Okay. Hello? Hi, may I speak to Janine? Yes, this is Janine. Hey, what's up? How are you? This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the Morning. It's a radio show on the radio. Okay. Um, why, my, what, what is this about? Well, I'm calling you today because one of our listeners emailed us about you. Me? What? I'm, I'm confused. We do a segment on our show. It's called the Second Date Update. That's where if you go out with somebody on a date and then end up not calling them after, they email us to see if we can get you on the phone and ask what happened. So Dawson, a dude Dawson? That- yeah. Oh, God. Oh, oh Was that a, a good oh God or a bad oh God? No, I can't tell. <laughs> so we talked to him a little bit, and he told us about when you guys met at a party. Mm-hmm. And... Just, I don't think we, yeah. You don't think yeah. you what? We don't think we, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we talk, I mean, do you guys just want to know why I'm not talking to him anymore? Yep. That's mm-hmm. exactly why we're on the phone with you right now. Other than, uh, you know, I think you're an awesome person and want to talk to you anyway. But <laughs> that's pretty much why we're calling. <laughs> Do you mind telling us? Well, I just found out something that's unattractive to me. Oh. Wait, you found out, like, back information? Like, he has a girlfriend? No, no, he doesn't have a girlfriend, and that's the problem. What? How is that the problem? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? The problem is he doesn't have a girlfriend. Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, the problem is that he's single. 
What? <laughs> Wait, How what? Is that a you want to be like a mistress to somebody? That's yeah, your goal in life? That's messed up. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to. I would never date a guy who has a girlfriend. Oh, good. I just don't want to date a guy who's single. That, that puts you in a very <laughs> tough spot in the dating world because either you have a girlfriend or you're single. Yeah. No, no. I mean, he's really single. Yeah, that's usually how people like, <laughs> yeah, like their a... potential dates, really single. I mean, yeah. that's usually a positive attribute. No, I mean, a day or two after the party, I checked his Facebook page. Uh-huh. There are, like, no pictures of him with a girl. None. And that's a bad thing. <laughs> and that's a bad thing. Okay, why? why? That leads me to think that no girls want him. That he's undesirable. <laughs> So you're thinking that he's broken in some way because he doesn't have any pictures on social media of him with other women. Well, I didn't just check Facebook. I mean, we have a mutual friend. I asked her. She said he hasn't seen anybody seriously in months. So why is that an issue? If someone goes like a long period without being in a steady relationship, then there must be something wrong. What? <laughs> what if they, I don't know, just enjoy being single because they're happy with their lives and where they are and themselves? Nobody enjoys being single. That's a myth. That is so true. There's plenty of people that enjoy it. So are, do you I have a... I enjoy it. I certainly don't. Are do you? Well, I can tell. Yeah. I just, I don't get what you're saying. I, I think I get it. Like, if I meet a girl and I find out she hasn't been on a date in two years... I'm thinking, like, why is nobody dating her? Maybe it's been two years. Maybe because she wants to be single. That is stupid. I don't know. After a while, you don't want to be single. Yes, anymore. some people do. So, Janine, are you in a relationship then? I'm actively dating. I have a lot of people who want to date me, and I go out on several dates. I'm desirable. <laughs> and Dawson is undesirable. Okay. Oh, no. Well, you in know what else? In my eyes, Dawson is undesirable. Gotcha. Dude, you you know what else Dawson is? He's also on the other line and wants to talk to you. Uh-oh. What? Yeah. Dawson, are you there? No, 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 yeah. no, no. What's up, Janine? It's uh, Mr. Undesirable. <laughs> well, excuse what? me for wanting someone who wants to be socially active. <laughs> I am socially active. I don't need to broadcast it all over the world, though. Well, really, how many girls are you seeing right now? Whoa. Well, I'm none right now. Exactly. And that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I had a girlfriend about four months ago as well. So Really? So why haven't you met anyone in four months? Um, because I want to take a break, you know, be single for a little bit because I just got out of a relationship. You can tell yourself that all you want, but the truth is no one wants to date you. Whoa! Janine! <laughs> what is your problem, man? Dang. My problem? The longest I've been quote-unquote single is 10 days. You're supposed to jump right back into the game after you break up with someone. That's what's supposed to happen. Yeah, Janine, and it tells me if you have that many dates lined up that nobody's coming for a second date, man, then there's a reason. <laughs> this is, this is I, I can't believe what's coming out of her mouth. I can't it's Not being either. single what's for 10 days. It? Are you it's, kidding it's, me? I'm undesirable, but you and I were making out at this house party. So I thought how you were... undesirable can I be? Amen. Uh -oh. Listen, Dawson, the thing is, you're living in single land. That's just not where I want to be. I mean, it's fine if you want to be there, but I don't. What is single land exactly? What it's, the hell it's are where you, you are. talking about? It's, where, it's what you are. You're in single land, and I don't want to be no. there. <laughs> I'm just single right now. There's no exactly. single land. It's not a continent or an island. It's just where I'm at right now. And then I go out, and if I meet someone like I thought with you, maybe then I would be not in single land anymore. I mean, does that make any sense to you? Unfortunately, no, because you're out there on your little island all by yourself. Oh, all right. My head's starting to hurt, so... Okay, it's so hard to understand about this. <laughs> I just want to date people that other people like. I don't see why that's weird. If nobody likes them, then why would I want to see them again? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Janine, you're basing all of your opinion on someone else's opinion. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, you are judging him based on what other people think of him. And what's the problem with that? 
I, you know what? I think for you, Janine, isn't a problem. But I'm going to ask this question. It's a really stupid question. Uh-huh. They say there's no stupid questions, but this is definitely one. Janine, would you like to go out with Dawson again on a second date? We will pay for it. Um, no, I think I'm okay. Yeah, I mean, I under- understandable. Dawson hasn't been out with a woman in four months, you know? <laughs> You understand. <laughs> Took me a while to get on the same page as you, Janine. Jeez, Jubal. <laughs> oh, Dawson. It's just, you know, that's fine. I'm, I'm fine with this outcome. Yeah, I think you okay. should be, buddy. Yeah, of, cu- of course yeah. you're fine with it because somebody likes being single. So <laughs> why would you want to go on a date? You're probably happier now. <laughs> yeah. Brooke and Jubal in the morning. Look what you made me do. I, I'm just pretty sure it's your own fault. Man, no. No, you made me do it. No. You made me do it. No. You made me do it. Now, who's going to clean up the studio? All right. Brooke and Jubal in the morning. (laughs) Text in at 78592 that says there's obviously a reason why that girl is still single. Talking about today's (laughs) second date update. If you missed it, Dawson wanted to call a girl named Janine. They met at a party. They kissed, texted a little bit after, and then she just sort of dropped off. We got her on the phone and found out that the reason she wasn't calling him back and didn't want to go out with him again was because she went to his Facebook page and noticed there were no pictures of other women. So he's not (laughs) dating anybody currently. Therefore, she deemed him undesirable. Oh, I don't I don't get it. So apparently I still don't get it. Like usually (laughs) single is what you look for when you're wanting to date someone, but she wants him to be out and about making the rounds. Yeah. He's gotta be almost in a relationship for her Mm -hmm. to go, yeah. (laughs) That guy is definitely worth dating. You can't win anymore. Seriously? You can't be single, and you, well, yeah. I mean, you can have a girlfriend or a boyfriend or whatever. You can yeah. do that, but yeah. if you want to date, you can't be fully single. Mm-hmm. You gotta almost be in a relationship. Apparently, it's like you need a Yelp review. Is what you need. Like there that's you. what she's looking for. They she, do need a Yelp review for people. She wants a Yelp review that ensures that people are visiting that boyfriend. Yeah, <laughs> this guy smells funny. Yeah, two stars. Yeah. Why Remember? does it only have two reviews? I'm not going to that place. If you want to do a second date update, all you have to do is email the show, and we will call the person that didn't call you back. Moving ninety two point five.